This is Apollo Control at 6 hours 31 minutes. At the present time, the spacecraft is 29,363 nautical miles from Earth, and the velocity continuing to drop off gradually, reading now 11,192 feet per second. Uh, flight Director Gene Kranz has taken over uh, as uh, flight director now from Clifford Charlesworth. Uh, Kranz has been reviewing the status of the spacecraft systems with his team of flight controllers. Everything looks very good at this point. The crew has been advised that uh, the mid-course correction won the first opportunity for a mid-course correction, uh, which had been scheduled into the flight plan at about 13 hours 30 minutes. Uh, will not be performed. Uh, correction, the mid-course had been scheduled at 11 hours 45 minutes into the flight plan, and that will not be performed uh, according to the tracking data we have at this time. Uh, the crew, uh, up until their sleep period, which will begin at about 13 hours 30 minutes, or about 7 hours from now, uh, will be involved generally in a routine of housekeeping-type activities aboard the spacecraft. Uh, at the present time, they should be involved in some uh, mid-course navigation. At uh, 6 hours 32 minutes, this is Apollo Control, Houston. Houston, how you read on high gain? Oh, loud and clear on high gain, 11. Roger, we're proceeding. Roger. Control. This is Apollo Control. It's 75 hours into the mission. Apollo 11 is 2,241 nautical miles away from the moon. Velocity 5,512 feet per second. We're 41 minutes away from loss of signal as Apollo 11 goes behind the moon. We're 49 minutes away from the lunar orbit insertion maneuver number one. Apollo 11, this is Houston. We observed your gimbal test down here and it looked good to us, over. All right, you look good here. started uh, this long burn duration six minutes two seconds delta V 2917 feet per second given that burn we expect uh, an orbit of 61 by 169.2 nautical miles This is Apollo Control Houston at 81 hours at 24 minutes and now into the flight. Uh, the silence uh, of conversation between uh, Mission Control Center Houston and the crew was broken there moments ago. Uh, Charlie Duke uh, called up uh, Apollo 11 and spoke with Neil Armstrong who indicated uh, that the hatch uh, I was out and uh, the probe and drogue removed and uh, they were about ready to open the lunar module uh, hatch. Our current uh, altitude uh, shows uh, 54.7 nautical miles, uh, Apolloon 65.4, Paralune uh, 53.8. Interestingly enough, uh, the uh, part of the uh, limb activation uh, which we will follow most closely will be uh, at time of reacquisition uh, following our uh, 
pass over the far side of the moon. Uh, this will be on the front side. Uh, it will uh, afford us an opportunity for a communications check uh, with the lunar module, uh, and uh, there will be a transfer to limb po power. This is Apollo Control at 98 hours, 16 minutes. We are now less than two minutes from reacquiring the spacecraft in its 12th revolution of the moon. At this time, Armstrong and Aldrin uh, should be completing pressure checks on their space suits. Uh, coming up in this revolution, they'll be running checks on the guidance platform of their uh, LEM guidance system. They'll also be running checks on the reaction control system thrusters and their descent propulsion system, as well as the rendezvous radar. We'll also be giving them a go, no go for undocking in the following revolution. The uh, checkout and activation of the LAM up to this point has been moving along very smoothly. All systems performing well, and uh, we were ahead of the flight plan uh, at the end of the last revolution. We'll stand by now to reacquire the spacecraft. Uh, the LEM and CSM still docked, and uh, Armstrong and Aldrin within the LEM. That will be their home for the next 30 hours or so. Now about uh, 45 seconds from reacquiring. We're now about 15 seconds from reacquisition of Apollo 11. The spacecraft currently in an orbit uh, with an apocynthian of 63 and a half nautical miles, a paracynthian of 55.9. As we're continuing to see the uh, apocynthian drop, the paracynthian raise, as the orbit becomes more and more circular. Eagle Houston, we, Houston, we see you on the stairwell, over. Roger, how does it look? Neil? Roger. Looking good. Roger, Neil. We got a, if you'll give us poo and data, we got the loads for you. Roger. Flight side will look real good. Roger. 
Flight controller is gonna go for landing. Retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. go. Ecom. Go. Right. Surgeon. Go. Capcom, we're go for landing. Eagle Houston, you're go for landing. Over. I do understand. Go for landing. 3,000 feet. Copy. Alarm. 
stay. Capcom, or stay for T1. Okay, it looks like we're mending the axis high enough. Roger, Eagle, and you are staying right, for T1. Go, go control. Eagle, we're you're in stay off. for T1. Right, betting on. I just... And we're see... in stay for T1. Roger, and we see you venting the ox. Pyro safe. Roger. Roger. Radar circuit breaker. Okay, all flight controllers, four more minutes to T2, stay no stay. P-68, we have a mound 43. Roger, you have landing verification. Mound 43, Roger, we have it. Yes, sir, I reach Columbia on the high gate. Flight control, we ring you bye-bye, Columbia. Roger, bending kill. Landed, Tranquility Base. Eagle, is that Tranquility, over? Yeah, I heard the whole thing. Well, good show. Fantastic. Top reset. Okay, let's track them through these procedures now. Flight account, we got the high gain back in the airbeam. Roger. Houston, Columbia went up telemetry command reset to uh, reacquire on the high gain. Copy, Copy flight. out. Roger. Then you need a new TIG there for uh, T3. Affirmative, uh, he has it on the lunar surface pad. Roger. T2 TIG. Okay, we're in T12. Guidance, I'd like to uh, get a go from you when you're happy with the TIG and T-12 and you're happy with the platform. Roger. The platforms are right together, but they're beautiful. Okay, how about the AGs? You go on the AGs? Yes, too? sir. Okay, Pingus and AGs both go. We're waiting for the TIG. Okay, you want this bag? Yep. I'm on the porch. Roger, Neil. Neil Armstrong on the porch at 109 hours, 19 minutes, 16 seconds. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming. I'm going to step off the lamp now. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. As the uh, surface is fine and powdery, I can I can pick it up loosely with my toe. It does adhere to, in fine layers, uh, like uh, powdered charcoal, to the uh, to the and sides of my boots. I only go in a uh, small fraction of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, but I can see the footprints of my uh, boots and the treads in the fine sandy particles. Hey, this is Houston, we're copying. Unofficial time on the first step, 109-2420.